Hey everybody, Uncle Mike here with your ankle taping video, my first ever ankle taping video. I don't have all my materials here, but I'm going to tape Uncle Paulie's ankle right now for inversion sprain, which means if he sprained his ankle, he turned it in, injured it the, out, the uh, lateral side of his ankle, I'm going to tape to prevent inversion. So usually what I would do is I would put what are called heel and lace pads here with some Vaseline or skin lube just to prevent him from getting blisters from, from the uh, tape. But I'm going to use pre-wrap because I'm being nice today. Usually the best way is to shave the ankle above the calf. So what we're going to do is we're going to start right, right at the gas, like below the gas drop. And I'm going to just put some pre-wrap on his ankle just to protect the skin. Usually I would also use an adhesive spray to keep the pre-wrap on his skin. Now the first piece of tape I'm going to put on is called an anchor. I'm going to go on the top up by the calf and I'm going to angle it down so it doesn't bunch up. Now you don't want your tape to bunch up and you always want to let the tape flow. I'm going to use two anchors. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the medial side, the inside of his ankle with a stirrup, okay? And I'm going to pull his ankle into eversion because I want to prevent that inversion from going on. So we always go medial to lateral on those stirrups and we overlap them by about half. But it doesn't have to be perfect, but we overlap them by about half of the tape. This is inch and a half uh, Zonus tape, which is porous and it breathes a little bit. So I've got my stirrups now, I'm gonna anchor them down at the top so they don't move. And sometimes I even put an anchor right in the middle. Okay, after my stirrups, I'm gonna go into a heel lock. So I'm gonna angle this tape down. I'm gonna go around his heel, okay? And then I'm actually gonna come up and go back around his ankle. So that's one heel lock. I usually put two on each side. Okay, now what the heel lock's gonna do is gonna prevent him, it's gonna kinda of lock, lock his calcaneus up, that's his heel bone. And it's also gonna prevent excessive uh, plantar flexion and when you get an e inversion sprain, it's usually plantar flexion and inversion at the same time. So I did a couple of figure eights. Always want his toe pointed straight up like that, okay? Because we want to prevent that plantar flexion, excessive plantar flexion. Now I'm going to do what's called a figure eight. I'm basically going to go around his foot and then around the ankle. So I'm making an eight, if you can see that. I'm going sort of slowly here. And you always want, the, always want the tape to flow evenly. You never want to force the tape to go in a direction. If you do that, it starts to wrinkle. If it wrinkles up and it bunches up, then what's going to happen is it's going to possibly cause some blisters on his, on his skin. Okay, so that's just a couple of figure eights. And then after your, your heel locks, your figure eights, all your essential pieces of tape, I'm just going to kind of close it up however I can. Now, everybody has kind of their own way of doing this. Just kind of closing up all the open areas called windows. So that'd be a window right there. And I'm just going to put some strips of tape, work from his, from the bottom of his foot up. And you have to kind of find different angles to lay the tape so it doesn't bunch up. All right, so I'm just going to kind of close up these are called C-strips, okay? They have to be on this angle when you get up towards this calf or else what happens is the tape just kind of bunches up if you don't do that. So there it is. There's the complete inversion sprain tape job. So now what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to actually show you full speed. Full speed on how I would do this if I'm on a sideline and I've got a football player who's got to get in the game quickly. He's got a little inversion sprain. He can walk on it. He can bear weight, but he's functional, okay? He can get through all his functional tests. He's, he can run on it. He can cut on it, but he just needs some support. So I would do my heel and lace pads. I'd do my spray, and then i just go through my, my tape job, okay? Need to do a lateral. Make sure his toes pointed straight up. Okay, it's not going to be, it may not be the prettiest tape job, but I have to get him back out onto the field quickly 
So I'm going to do the best thing. I, sometimes I'll even combine my figure eights and my heel locks to save some time. But you don't want to do too much continuous taping, which means you don't want to keep wrapping the tape around and around because it can cause too much tension. It could cut the circulation off to his foot. And I'll only do that to the kids that I don't like. I'll cut their circulation off. Some kids want to get taped because they think it's cool. So I'll tape them real tight and they'll never want to get taped again. So that's just kind of a way of be deterring the fakers from my athletic training office. Okay. This is not as pretty as the other one, but it's going to do the job. Now, I've been doing this for 25 years, so I can pretty much do this blindfolded. But sometimes you can finish it off. This is like a stretch tape, and this, this can kind of just reinforce the job I just did. I can throw some extra heel locks in there. This stuff just kind of sticks to itself, and it's just a, a way to make my tape job stronger and look nicer. There it is, Inversion Sprain 101. Peace.